Hey, Sam from SK Coffee here. Today, I'm gonna to talk about auto drip or auto brew machines. Essentially gonna guide you through the, the process or at least um, into the world of auto drip machines through my favorite uh, and preferred machine. I've done a lot of videos about uh, pour over and I think there is sort of this industry understanding that pour overs are, pour over methods rather, are the preferred and more, um, uh, more prestigious uh, uh, form of brewing. Now, perhaps this is, there is some validity to this argument. Uh, mostly because you have greater control of wetting the grounds, of the uh, of speed by which the water is poured, um, how much water stays in the actual brewing mechanism. Um, I could bore you on and on, but really there is a way to create great coffee with an auto drip machine. The real secret, get better coffee do it fresh, all that kind of stuff. Um, so if, it, if you don't want to do manual brew, fantastic. You can auto drip just as long as you have great coffee and the bean is well roasted and there's, and whoever, whatever roaster you want to work with, if they're sourcing fantastic uh, coffee grown by really great farmers, you're going to really enjoy your cup. Now, here is my favorite drip machine. Ba -ba -da -da. This is the Bonavita. I believe there are a couple different versions of this. There's this one with a glass carafe and then one with a, um, a vacuum seal carafe. The Bonavita is fantastic for a few reasons. One, the, the actual br uh, water drip head is more of a shower effect. Have you ever noticed when you use your Mr. Coffee with just the single spout into the center of the grounds and there's like some dry grounds on the outside, that's really not great. Um, it destroys your ratio because the grounds on, on the outside never got, um, never got wet and therefore there was no extraction of the great flavors from those grounds. This has a shower head. That means that it's wetting the grounds equally throughout the whole um, uh, brewing basket. Right now, another thing is that this brews at around 200 to 205 degrees. This is a fantastic brewing temperature, between 195 and 205, depending on how you know how you like to do it. And if you're getting really nerdy, really depends bean to bean. Um, but another time, another video. So this will also, when you click this button. There are two. Uh, there, there are two processes that that this will go through. One is just like a straight drip, and that's where the water starts uh, dripping over the grounds, and it just kind of brews continuously. Then there's also a pre-infusion, uh, which basically just means wetting a little bit, letting it bloom, and then continuing the process. There, you kind of have to hold down the the button, and then it'll it'll start up. Those are really the two best parts. Also, you're not brewing so much. Uh, it's not a 12 cup machine, it's an eight cup machine. Um, so it's, you're not having it, you know, too much coffee sitting around for too long. The other thing is that the price is pretty right for this machine. It goes up and down, but it has always consistently been under a hundred dollars especially for the glass carafe, the double wall insulated like aluminum uh, carafe. That one I think is around 130 potentially. But in any case, it's quite affordable. We use it for almost every event and if we're doing real tastings to, to, to get the, you know, the quality of coffee to make a determination of whether or not we're going to source a coffee, we actually use this machine. Um, because it it gives us the effect that most through which most people will be drinking and consuming our coffee which is batch brew and this gets at really another philosophical thing for me and for the rest of the team at SK we're really trying to romance the the drip coffee because ultimately this is the most basic way of tasting coffee it's so easy 
um, and it, it, it gets to the heart of what we're really talking about in the coffee industry, which is, not to overstate this, the coffee itself. Where the bean came from, how it was processed, how it was grown, and through whom it was grown. These are the important questions and things to consider, and if we can romance the drip machine, all the other stuff won't, will obscure just a little bit less that um, ultimate uh, goal of consideration. Now, that's not to degrade espresso, French press, cold brew, all these are fantastic ways of, uh, of experiencing coffee. My only consideration is this being the sort of gateway into the world of coffee consideration of origin to cup. That's really a long-winded way of saying that the Bonavita is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, and most preferred auto drip machine. Highly recommend it check it out. There'll be a link in the bio for at least one of the Amazon listings or the, the website for the manufacturer in general. Now, if you like the video, like and subscribe. We try and release a video every other week or so, and we talk just a lot about coffee. Thanks, and come back.